So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week to look at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So you can do me a like, favorite like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help a lot. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video. This one is going to be a remix of an old set that I made. Uh, this one is going to be in the parade set. So that's going to be a lot of fun because a lot of the sets that I made are pretty good. So for this one, we're going to be using the parade mask for the arms. It's going to be Caliban's hand, Warriors Memorial Cuirass for the chest piece, Sun Apex Strides for the boots, and then White Wolf Cloak for the cloak. For the shader, we're going to be using continue, continue, God damn it, Continuum Alloy just because it gives me that red or orange, I should say. So any shader that has an orange is going to be really good because I need to combine it with the golden gun and the boots as well. So another shader that you can use if you don't have this one because this one is a paid one is Gambit Celadon. This one's going to be a pretty good one because it's green, which I actually do like, but it's also the orange as well. Another really good one is going to be first. No, no, it's Night's Chill. Night's Chill is another really good one. Uh, another one would be Carminica. This one's probably going to be the best one, if I'm being quite honest, just because that orange is very, very saturated. So, yeah, there's a bunch of other ones. I think Rustberry has. Yeah, it has that as well. Not a fan of it. I would probably just switch this shader to a black. So, like, this right here. So, yeah, something like this would be pretty cool. But, yeah, there's a lot of shaders that you can go for. Uh, Omnicrony is a blue, if I'm... Yeah, it's a blue... But there are other colors. Uh, Crucible Al Lazarin is a pretty good one, but it just flickers. So that is a, a thing you have to be aware about. I think Scarlet Semblance is a red. So yeah, you just have to be aware of what shader has the gold the, or the red orange glow, which is quite a few, if I'm being quite honest. And there's other ones that I didn't even mention. Like if you want, you could do a red. I personally don't think a red would be good, but there that is. I think new anyway, No, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's another one that I'm forgetting, but yeah let me know what you guys think about this set so as for 801 we have refurbished black armory which is a really good shader oh, so close to this but no not a fan of this look just because again i want to combine the glows with the goldie right there and the bottom as well so this is definitely a good shader though i would recommend this one we have bray innovation which is a shader from season three technically i say technically because I don't really count i don't count anything after or before forsaken seasons because they don't feel like seasons so this is from warmind uh the second expansion <clears throat> definitely recommend it and then new monarchy allegiance which i think is kind of trash <clears throat> specifically because the orange is just everywhere i'm not a fan of this orange or orange in general so this is a this is an l for me as for the armor sets, they're all right here. You guys can check them out. I am going to be honest. I think the chest piece is the only good piece for the hunters. Other than that, every th other piece is kind of honestly kind of trash, if I'm being quite honest. Titans, um, I don't even remember yours. Hold on. Let me see real quick. The Mimetic Savior set, I think it, it is. If that's the case, I think everything but the mark has potential. Like, I think the chest piece has potential. Boots, arms, even the helmet to a certain extent i think all of it really does have potential do i want to pursue that potential personally not really because i'm not a fan of it um and then warlocks uh i think the only good thing is the bond the bond i use for electrical sets and the other pieces i just think are too crappy in my opinion so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 and as for banshee we have the whispering slab with hip fire grip and sympathetic arsenal Arvindil FR6 with hit fire grip and chill clip, uh, annual skate with tunnel vision and time payload, syncopation 53 with moving target and vorpal weapon, and then bump in the night with track and, fr and frenzy. So I would say if you want to pick these two up there, they are red border weapons, so you might as well do that. Other than that, I would not pick anything anything from here. I think it's pretty trash. But before we get to Zer, I do want to mention that this is your last week. To get anything from saladin so the shader which is prestige one i think yeah yeah prestige one uh that's gonna be this one right here so legendary i i made a video on it and you guys can check it out if you guys want i i don't talk in it it's just me just explaining or just showing you how the armor shader looks 
I don't like the shader personally. Uh, that being said, I just haven't really messed around with it too much to really try to find something cool with it. That being said, I do like the colors. I love this color. I love a lot of this. I'm not a fan of the gray, but like I always really mention is just the fact that like you always could just go around and go see like what what things that you could you think are going to look good with it. And like just just from these two pieces being switched out, I think this looks pretty cool. I think the arms would have to be switched out for another exotic. Um, let me see the helmet. Let me see just pure. Yeah, so the off color would be a black, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I showcased that in uh, in the video. I mean, either way, it, it was just a fast thing that I made. But like, I like the chainmail color. I think it looks really, really cool. And the off color being black is pretty cool as well. I would just have to really go in, into it and see like what looks really cool. That being said, I would definitely not pair this with cloth because cloth looks pretty terrible but yeah if you guys want to pick up the shader definitely pick it up it's really really cool i like it i know i just said i like from what i saw it looks really cool and i have, i see the potential i see the vision now before i didn't the other cool thing is the fact that tusk of the boar and multi mac are still here so if you haven't got a good roll yet you can you can try to do get some i haven't had that good of luck i mean i say that but I got a lot of good rolls. That being said, I did play a lot of Iron Banner to get those good rolls. So I don't know. It's like I would I would always recommend people to get the shader if they have the time and want to, because most of the time, I think the Iron Banner shaders are interesting enough to go for them. But I also think that they're not that interesting for most people to go to them. So it's more of like if you're into fashion, I just would say you definitely should get them. As for Zuri, he's in the Winding Cove and the EDZ currently selling the season of the worthy seasonal activity armor which i definitely think has potential in your slots or your fashion slots i should say let me go check out all the armor sets for all the classes because i don't remember everyone's but i do remember at least the hunters because i have few pieces for the hunters all right so that's right titans you guys are okay so hunters i think the helmet is interesting i think the arms and boots definitely have potential for like a bulky soldier look chest piece and cloak i think are the only bad pieces and i say it in that way because they are cool i just personally don't really like them that being said i like the cloak the cloak is really cool i just have to find a good set for it um titans <sighs> i think everything looks pretty terrible i think the helmet is kind of interesting uh the arms are pretty terrible i think the boots are cool ish and i think the chest piece is interesting i think the bond's boring as hell though um let me see the chest piece real quick uh you can definitely use the chest piece for like a soldier look but it's just kind of whatever especially compared to the uh the seasonal ornament it's just kind of lacking and then warlocks i love the helmet i think the helmet is really like the, the coolest thing of this whole set i think the boots are pretty cool because uh they're very thin so it could be really cool for like a thin look uh, or like a slender look I should say the arms are boring I think the chest piece has potential for like a soldier look and I think the bond's pretty terrible so I definitely would recommend some of these pieces uh, just because again <clears throat> like they're they're pretty unique in their own way but I would most likely just recommend the hunters and warlock pieces titans if you guys like it then I mean obviously get the pieces you like but for me that's pretty much it as for the rolls are right here I'll shut up so you guys can see the rolls real quick So let me know which, which pieces you guys are going to get from these armor sets. Uh, just to note, I always say this, but remember, this is beginner armor. Uh, I would say actually intermediate armor. If you find if you want to get better armor, then the better armor is going to be in the dungeon, specifically the master versions, just because you get artifice armor from that. Do be aware if you are a PvP -er and you don't want to do dungeon dungeon raids or I mean dungeon runs, then you can do comp comp you get uh, artifice armor as well so that is really cool i don't know if their stats are good or not but i know dungeons are hit or miss sometimes as well but as for weapons we're going to be looking at true the true prophecy with elemental capacitor uh grid skipper with moving target and snapshot sights Iclos hand cannon with triple tap and focus fury that's actually decent truth teller with grave robber and swashbuckler tarnish metal with rapid hit and volt shot Shattered Cypher with Under Pressure and Rune Lenting, and then Fire and Forget with Range Finder and Chill Quip. So, this weapon, this weapon, and this weapon are Red Border weapons. <clears throat> this one's really cool though. Triple Tap with Focused Fury is interesting. 
I'm actually kind of tempted to pick it up because I'm currently having a lot of fun with my uh, I have a, a lucky pants build right now not a build it's just it's lucky pants with a hand cannon and I'm really enjoying it and this would be interesting because the only thing that sucks is by the time focus fury pops up I think lucky pants buff is gonna be gone because I would have to kill actually hold on <clears throat> yeah so I know people are like, why would you make it less? It's because Lucky Pants has a timer on the buff that gives you. So the less time I'm shooting to proc uh, Focus Fury, the better. Because this one, I would only have to waste six bullets to proc, uh, to proc Focus Fury, which I think would give me enough time for both of them to intertwine. And then it, Triple Tap is going to help me get a lot more ammo from it as well. Mm. It, it's an interesting idea i don't think it'll pan out as well as i'm in my head because again focus fear you have to what is it uh the count shot no wait, dealing half the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage which is cool <clears throat> i guess i could use this like when when lucky pants is not being used this is already procced or by the time lucky pants i can proc it again i'll have focus fury up either way it's pretty interesting um Tarnished Metal with Rapid Hit and Volt Shot is super interesting. For a scout rifle, is it really good? I I don't know. Uh, it's a lightweight frame, which is really, really cool. And that's, I don't know. I, I like this weapon a lot, though. It has some pretty cool rolls. And Volt Shot with Rapid, I just feel like would, would be such a slapper. Um, and then Fire and Forget. <clears throat> it's an aggressive, which means it has a, it's three shots. So just be aware of that. Um... I don't even know what the what the role was this like I think it was just choke clip and something else right here I think triple tap I don't remember the role for this but yeah let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from the weapons as for exotics we have Hawkmoon with surplus and then Prometheus lands oof this weapons this weapon is infamous for a weekend back in uh Chris of Osiris when Zer was selling this everyone picked it up and it was basically a laser fight in crucible it was a lot of fun i think i still have a video of it in my instagram where i have the pvp and you can see like the bunch of lasers in there it's really funny uh, lucky raspberry with pretty high mobility to be fair if you master if you master work this you have, you'll have a one on mobility resilience and recovery and then you'll get an extra two for mobility and anything else that you want aside from intellect so this is interesting i just don't like Ra lucky raspberry as a exotic i think it's just trash uh dune marchers with too high mobility and then getaway artists with the same problem so let me see what i'm, I'm gonna be picking up aeon swifts i can safely ignore those because uh, i already have a good aeon swift so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from zur as for Zer, we're going to be looking at Princely Presence. Man, this shader, like, it looks cool, but at the same time, looks trash. Uh, Posimatism. Oh, shit, this does not look bad at all. The only unfortunate part is that the, the blades here are white instead of orange. If that was the case, I think this would have been a good shader. I think, honestly, I would just switch this out for a black and orange. Actually, if you really wanted to, you could do this, I think. I think this would be good yeah so if you wanted to you could just do that actually let's let's see a positivism i want to see it now that i've made uh okay what's what season does the shader come out sorry sorry that i'm doing this uh season of the uh season of the the fucking fallen i forget that season's name uh splicer i think it is splicer 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 <laughs> here it is here it is okay so we can do that and then we can switch this out to this this doesn't look bad bro this actually looks pretty good i honestly would just switch out the chess piece for something that has a little bit more armor <clears throat> like maybe something like this would be pretty cool mm, i don't like the belts though so like probably what about cloth no, definitely not. Definitely, definitely not cloth. Yeah, I think this. I would do this for now, until I found something that's a little bit better. Too much orange, in my opinion. Same problem. I think this is okay-ish. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, th I think it's a pretty good combination. Sorry, I just... I uh, really like fashion, obviously. I'm a fashion channel. <laughs> uh, Lattice Entrance, which is pretty cool, actually. This is your last chance to get the great white ornament. It is really, really bitchin'. And if you don't get it, people are gonna make fun of you because this is an awesome ornament for Hammerhead. We have Rimshot, which is the uh, ba -dum -tss. And then at the bottom, we have Iridescent Death for the Crimson. I definitely like this one. This is the one I have on it all the time just because it's clean. Uh, the Lone Wolf. We have the Paul Bear. I do think this one looks cool. Uh, overcharged shell. And then Vanguard Dare Grips. Okay, so I definitely would recommend you guys to pick this armor set up for all the classes just because they are really, really cool. Uh, Destructi Destructive Wizard. And then for the Transmat effects, we have Dreaming Shimmer. We have Harpy's Cry. And then Corrupt Ether. And then for the Shaders, Cursed Azur. Which doesn't look bad at all. Boreal Char, which is a really, really good shader. Like, look how cool this looks. The only problem is the fact that it has a, like a light green or like a white green. That's the only problem that I really noticed for this shader. But other than that, like, this looks dope. Uh, Copper Brand, which I'm not going to like. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the yellow. And then Blade Tooth, which I definitely think you should get because it's a pretty good red and black. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan of this red. It's, it's a little weird, but I still would recommend it. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all the vendors that we showcase. Remember that uh, I'm making a video on all of this armor for the Guardians. So let me show you real quick which armor this is. Also, this is the end of the video. So if you guys are not wanting to see this, I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Uh, be safe. I will see you guys later. So for the Hunters, it's the Vanguard Dare, which is the, for me, it always reminded me of um, Cade. So this is the Cade armor. For the Titans, it's going to be the Starcross set. And then for the Warlocks, it's the Symmetrist set. Honestly, I think Bungie did the Titans and Warlocks dirty by not giving them their Vanguard armor set. I think that should have been the thing. Like, that would have been way cooler than the Starcross set and the Symmetrist set. That being said, I do like the Starcross set, not so much the Symmetrist set. Um, so yeah, I'm making an armor or an armor review shader video plus the classes videos for that armor set. And I'm also doing it for the Forge sets, which when I say Forge, I specifically mean the Virulent set for the Hunters, for the Titans, the Future Facing set, and then for the Warlocks, the Wrath Trail set. Um, this set was sold a few weeks ago, and unfortunately, I didn't have the presence of mind to make a video for this armor, just because that was when I was switching from going part-time to full-time for my jobs, which is why I didn't have time i was just doing so much that it kind of just like by the time i remember it i was already like comfortable with my job so i will be making a video on this because i do think the armors are really really cool and the one the armor set videos that we're gonna specifically be doing first right now is gonna be the parade set this i'm currently working on the parade set i got all the set pieces already so i'm doing the review video which i've already done i just need to edit it the shader video, which I'm also going to just have to edit and I'll be done with that one. And then the uh, the individual class specific ones I'm also going to be doing, which I'm excited for because there's some really cool sets in there. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Remember that I have a bunch of content for you guys. Don't don't think I just because I've got a full time job that I'm not doing content for you guys. I do. It's just the fact that this the content takes time, uh, it takes a lot of time, especially now that I have a full time job. But I promise that I won't forget this channel like I forgot in my second, which I do want to start focusing on my second channel as well. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.